I just say that um, looking at a solution is memorizing it. And if you are getting the solution, then you're understanding it. So that's probably the difference between looking at the solution and getting the solution. And um, personally speaking, in class, up till class 10th, I, when I reflect back, I feel that there were times when I just looked at the solution. And I probably repent at it now. Yeah. But in class 11th, my teachers had told me and I learned it. Do not look at the solution. Think on it. Right. Okay, then again, you don't have infinite time. Yeah. So, um, well, you can say for mathematics, you have to spend more time. Right. In chemistry, it's alright if you don't get a topic. Because right. in chemistry, there are a variety of questions which you have to just understand how to solve. Right. And not infinite. Like in right. math, you, you can always get new questions and you right. won't know how to solve them. Right. So that's what I would say. And in physics, um, in physics there are new questions, but there are standard ones also. Okay. For the standard ones, if you don't get them in the first try, it's all right looking at the solution because okay. solution solving is also something that you can learn. Yeah. kitni fight mani If I'm not getting a, a question, right? Uh, should I keep on attempting it two times, three times, right? Ten minute, fifteen minute, one hour, right? Uh, is there any guideline to the you know the guys watching this? So, uh, like like you said that you can often skip a question. That's okay. not an issue. Okay. But like Sarvesh said, if you skip it completely, you didn't learn from it. Yeah. So you have to learn from it. So or often it so happens that people go after numbers yeah. and numbers do matter also because they are what give you mental confidence. I've solved these many questions. It's important. So when you're solving the questions, if you don't get a question, you can leave it. Go to the next one. Yeah. But don't leave it in the first glance. Yeah. First glance leaving is the worst idea. Because it just might turn out that you have to add two numbers. You just can't see where to add them. Very interesting. Very interesting. Savish, any other further inputs on that point? Okay, so when we are solving, so there are reasons why we don't have any problems. First reason is that we don't have any problems. So that's not your fault. We will study it. When we study it, it will be clear. Second thing is that the concept is not clear. It's like one way to study the theory. You have to study the concept clear. Third thing is that the child says that I have read it, my concept is clear. Then there is no problem with me. So, this is a very big reason that we didn't remember what we had studied. Like, we have read a whole chapter. Now, we have studied a formula in chapter. And here is the application. So, if it is like this, after you complete a chapter, go through the chapter once. Because there is a closure on that. And no doubt the formula. Then, after you have noted this formula, then you can do this notation down the formula and revision time also. And with the chapter with the chapter. Because once you learn the thing, this is the confidence that if it doesn't happen, then I have studied it. I have not studied the concept. 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 So, learn means having a flow of the chapter is very important for the overall confidence. And any recommendation on how much time you should stay in a question? Okay, so that depends on person to person. For me, personally, what was it for maths? Especially, like, maths problems take a lot of time, maths and physics. So, once I solved, like, 10 minutes, then I used to move on to the next problem. Come on to that a day later. If I am able to solve that, then fine. If I am not able to solve, I directly means I look up the solution. Because otherwise, like, it piles up and then it will always be there. And you can just, like, look up the solution this time and apply this to a later problem. Like, you are learning finally, right? And you... Means devoted a given amount of time. So I think 10 minutes is I think more than enough for a standard problem. Alright. Anand, any uh, additional inputs on this uh, question? See, uh, apart from this, uh, obviously it depends on the type of student you are and how much time you are going to devote. Because in the initial time, so I will divide this into the initial time of your preparation when you start your preparation mm -hmm. and towards the end of your preparation, right? Because every time the uh, type of doubt that you will get will be different. Very interesting. So yeah. initially when you are starting a chapter, the doubt may be very conceptual. And that if you rush towards the teacher to actually get it, you may not be able to, you know, uh, imbibe that concept. That is very important in the initial days. And therefore you should give more time to that question. And maybe in the day if you are solving only two or three problems, doesn't matter. Because initially what matters is the concept. But as you proceed towards 12th and uh, later on when you have less time and you have to do a lot of problems and apply yourself, then you may skip the problem as uh, Pranam mentioned or after one or two attempts, but you should give one or two attempts, then you should ask your teachers that what is the solution. Most of the time, I personally don't advise them asking with their friends because Sometimes what happens, and I have a case in example, I have seen a lot of students doing that, and especially this happened in case of one of the topper students, that when you discuss, 
that student might give you correct answer but may also give you the wrong answer because he is also in the same boat right so when you are going to a teacher you will get a right answer to it or if you are solving any book you should look at solution after two or three attempts mm. uh, especially you should not ask your friends because most of the time it may happen that you are learning the things but if it's a concept which you don't know right, right then you should not ask but learning is good among friends well i think that's a uh, no, very important point guys because i think most of the students commit this mistake they give up too easily or when they give up too easily they don't retain anything i think retention is most important i fondly remember anand during uh, my own j preparation days i used to give even 6 hours on a problem in physics <laughs> right yeah so, so our our time was subjective <laughs> one and yes. obviously that time we required more of concept yes. today in the objective world yes. they have to apply and for every question they have 2 to 3 minutes time yes. and for that obviously uh, if you have 2 to 3 minutes typically that also gives us a time frame that on a question you should spend not more than 30 minutes if it's an objective okay. but again depends on the time of preparation, time of preparation. initial days lot of time no so that's a great point guys no thanks a lot for that and it's very important for all the guys watching that don't give up on a question very easily because if you don't exert yourself you don't retain it brain needs to be exerted right that's most important